evening, I'm Laura Yamada. Paula Akana has the week off. Well, two boaters are safe tonight after their vessel went up in flames. It happened this afternoon off Kaka'ako, about a half mile away from the Olawai Boat Harbor. The two men were on board when the boat caught fire. KITV4's Amber Lynn Hyden is live in our newsroom. And Amber, you just so happened to be right there in Waikiki when this fire broke out, right? That's right, Laura. We were near the Natatorium and could see the fire from there where it was getting everyone's attention. We later spoke with the dive boat workers who helped save the men on board the sailboat. Both father and son are safe with no major injuries. Just boom, really quick. Within about two minutes, we were totally engulfed. Waikoloa resident Ronald Curtis Woodard and his son had been sailing for nearly two hours before their 62-foot diesel catch sailboat suddenly caught fire below deck around 1.30 this afternoon. Woodard says he's had the Keoleleana for almost a decade and has only experienced battery problems in the past, all of which were replaced before today. It could have been a battery problem. It could have been a short, but the engine would shut down immediately because it's a Helion, Helion system that takes all the air out of it, so when that got on fire, but it was too much fire. The 67-year-old told us he and his son tried to put out the fire, but they were forced to jump overboard when the flames got out of control. Snoopy 5, a dive boat half a mile away from the burning vessel, was the first to call for help and respond to the distressed sailors. We were just going from one dive site to the other, saw flames coming from the sailboat. They had their life raft deployed, but it was attached to the boat, so they, uh, they abandoned the life raft and went, went on with the life jackets. I yeah, jumped in, grabbed them, we got them back on the boat, took care of their uh, minor wounds and relayed the information to the Coast Guard. The Woodards say they were in the water for no more than five minutes before they were rescued. Woodard told us the boat was insured for half a million dollars. A new custom-made boat like the one he owned goes for $1.8 million. Fire officials said the boat was almost fully submerged when we left Kewala Basin. In that case, an investigation into the cause of the fire would not be possible. Oh, glad to see they're safe. All right, thanks a lot, Amber. Well, we put together a slideshow of this afternoon's boat fire. You can see it by going to the homepage of KITV.com.